Hi there, I'm Guitar Hero 1885 and in this video I'm going to be reviewing and talking about NBA Jam for the Sega Mega Drive or the Genesis if you prefer. Je tout prefer. So this game apparently from what I can see here was released in 1994. It was released in the arcades. It was on Game Boy, Game Gear. It's been released on the Sega CD, obviously on the Genesis, the Super Nintendo, it's been released, um, I don't know if it's actually the original incarnation, but it was certainly re released on PS1, I'm sure there's a PS2 game, and I think there might even be a game released on like third generation consoles such as the PS3, I'm pretty sure there is a game on, of NBA Jam on the PS3, the one on the PS1 was NBA F Fire or something or other. Not exactly sure of the name, but I don't think it quite had the enjoyment factor, or the entertainment factor on the PS1. I had the PS1 version of this game, which was the only version I've had of it apart from obviously the, the Genesis version that I bought last year. I just, the feel of it just wasn't the same as when you were playing the Genesis. The look of it wasn't quite there. But this is one of the most famous games ever. And if you haven't played this game, I mean, I don't know. If you're going to call yourself a gamer, you really have to have played NBA Jam. It's the, it's the business. Boom shakalaka. You can't, can't beat boom shakalaka. You got your slam dunks. Your, your super elaborate slam dunks. You've got, you know, basically stuff you can't even get that even the real basketball players can't do. You jump right up in the air and slam slam dunk the ball backwards, spinning round like the helicopter dunk and everything. I don't think you can get the the dunk that. Michael Jordan did back when he won the, the slam dunk contest years ago when he when he was first famous when he did a slam dunk from the three point line. You can't quite get that. I've always tried to do that. I've never been able to do that in this game, but yeah, this is it's a pretty difficult game as well. It, it can be difficult to beat the computer. I think I've only beat it once in the entire time I've played it. I've played it since the first time I played it was at a friend's house back when I was, I must have been 12, 11 or 12 years old, I played at my friend's dad's house, and we had PS1s, at the, you know, around that sort of time, shortly after that, but we still went back to this game, this and hockey, ice hockey, we played an ice hockey game as well, NHL 1994 or something, or 1997, but yeah, this is, this is a classic retro sports game, it's not like your FIFAs of the day, that you, you never go back to, hardly, I don't know anybody who goes back and plays even last year's FIFA that much, let alone back to FIFA 97 or something, but this game, people go back to this, and it stayed a classic, it stayed popular and known, and people still play it nowadays, for the pure fact, it's, cra it's just fun, I nearly said crap there, <laughs> it's not crap, it's a good game, it's 5 star, I may as well get that out of the way. So on the back of the box, we've got it says Jam Home, the number one arcade phenomenon. Of course, it was out in the arcades first, I guess. From outrageous tomahawk jams to wild full court shots, you control the super moves, amazing blocks, and awesome slam dunks of 54 of the NBA's hottest stars. Now, you tell me, you could pass that up, right? Um, apparently, superhuman slam dunk. See, I was telling you about that already. Cannonball, two-hander, 360, helicopter, and more. Tur oh yeah, you get the turbo boost as well. It says turbo boost for lightning fast steals, incredible jams, and in-your face rejections. Yeah, you got the wee turbo button that you hold down, and it just blitzes your character. You just or your player. He just flies through. Uh, not a bad wee trick to have in the bag there get past some of the people. It's a two player game, it's it's good against the computer even, it gives you a challenge but nothing like sitting down with a friend and, and getting on basically. 
Um, got a apparently it's four player adaptable, but that must be for I think the any it was the SNES. Did the SNES have a multi tap? I don't know. I guess it did have. Uh, I don't know, but I guess the Mega Drive must have a multi tap. I've never heard of it or seen it, but I guess maybe it did. The PS One definitely does have a multi tap somewhere. Well, in second hand shops nowadays, really, I don't suppose many electrical stores or computer game stores are stocking multi PS1 multi taps. Great market for those. That's a little tip there from someone who doesn't have a clue and is rambling at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Absolute crack. And the graphics, I mean, they're good old, old fashioned Sega Genesis graphics. I mean, what? They're not 3D. I suppose it is 3D. It's, uh, certainly, it gives the effect of a 3D space if it isn't actual 3D. But just something about Genesis and even Super NES and Nintendo. There's just something. I guess that's why they're popular. The graphics have held up to date. They're playable games today. They don't. They don't look ridiculous now. They. They, they don't take away anything from the enjoyment of the game. I mean, it's gameplay wins over the even realistic graphics. And this is one of those games, it's actually a particularly good looking game for, for, the, for the Genesis anyway. But you don't get that many Genesis games where you look at it and you think, I can't play that, you know, what, what is going on here with these graphics? A lot of, I guess, older 3D games from the PS1 sort of era, and some PC games as well, from back in the day. Maybe when it's trying to do 3D, like your FIFA's and that, they look dated, and it's like little stick men running around, and you can't really, it's not really that enjoyable, it takes a lot from the enjoyment of the game. But Genesis and Nintendo games from 90s, there's just something about them that that holds a, a, a place and keeps the game, you know, it keeps the look of the game acceptable for for playing today. And the gameplay, I guess, is, is a major factor in that. These, that's why these games are so popular and why people still like them. Why I like them, anyway. Just playability and it's just got that nostalgic feel just waves of nostalgia and just look like what they're supposed to be. They just look like cartoons from back in the day, I guess. Cartoons from like the 1940s or 30s or something are still watched today, like Tom and Jerry and, and Looney Tunes. They are still watched. So, just something all time classic about this game. I haven't really got anything much else to say about it other than if you haven't played it or you're interested to play it or you haven't played it for years, just it's still worth playing nowadays. I would play this over any realistic basketball game, but nobody, you know, nobody's really, anybody who's interested in the, in the proper NBA and everything and, and those new games that are out. Those are games are impressive and they have their place, but this is where the, the, the sports game came from, where the popularity came from, where the inspiration came from, and it's it's the grandfather of these these new games. And I'll stick to NBA Jam over some of the new ones, but of course there you've got reincarnations, I guess, on the new consoles of this. So. Well worth a play. Five stars. Have a good one.